Dave Stevens is with us, former commissioner of the Federal Housing Administration, also served as president and CEO of the Mortgage Bankers Association. Dave, thanks so much. What, what's the better option right now <laughs> of the bad options, buying or renting? Well, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're asking the right question. N neither are great options. But I would say this. Um, prices had to come down. Uh, the, the volume of activity needed but to they slow. Haven't. The prices are not coming down. It's very weird, right. isn't it? We, in fact, prices have hit, uh, as you know, in June, uh, an all-time historical high. But I, I would say the one piece of good news, uh, which Diana highlighted, is that the increasing of inventory is giving buyers at least choice. Um, if we think about what's gone on the last couple of years, particularly last year, it was multiple offers, all cash yeah. offers, and you better come in at full listing price or above, and it may not be the exact home of your dreams. Right. Um, now you're going to get some choice. But I don't know where no you're looking, but I real estate doom scroll all the time because it's fun. And you know what I don't see? I don't see inventory. I don't see it in South Florida where I look. I don't see it in New York where I look. I don't see it in Mississippi where I'm from. I don't see it. I yeah. hear it, but I don't see it. One more question. Is there anything yeah. home buyers can do to ease the pain? Like adjustable rate mortgages, they're really different than they were years ago if, the, if you do decide to buy. Yeah, a absolutely. And that's a great point, Shepard, is that arms are an alternative. They aren't the arms of the pre-housing crisis that were very high risk. Um, but a five-year or seven-year arm can get you anywhere from 50 basis points, maybe as much as 100 basis points, lower in interest rate, depending on your situation. Uh, and that can help you afford these higher payments that uh, exist today. And as you've highlighted, look, renting's going up as well. And, um, and, and it's unlikely we're ever going to see those 2 or 3% mortgage rates we saw a couple of years ago, because that was a reflection on a very difficult economy yeah. where the Fed was driving rates slow. We're just not going to see that scenario repeat sure. itself. Sure. But, you know, I'm a kid of the 70s and 80s. And I remember yeah. mom and dad trying to buy a house. And all of a sudden, the, the rate that you were going to get for a mortgage was like 16, 17%. It was insane. And we didn't get a new house. Is that coming? Is that, is that a, th are we going to keep going here or how do you see it? Now, in fact, uh, the Mortgage Bankers Association just put out a new forecast a little, this afternoon. And, um, you know, that's very consistent with what, what other economists believe is we're going to see rates level off here in the high 5% range, maybe even taper down oh. a bit uh, towards the end of the year. The spike we saw was dramatic and had a lot of other influences right. that, um, that made rates move so rapidly. We're not going to see that on a go-forward basis. All right. I, this I is hope probably you're right. going to be a I'm going to hold the clip just in case and to embarrass <laughs> you with later if you're wrong. Hey, it's great to see you, Please Dave. Do. Thanks very much.